and welcome back to Kitten Up Kitten. And today I am doing some unboxing, a little bit different to normal, but doing some unboxing. I um, hope that you're well. It is Sunday, it is the weekend, and I plan on doing lots of diamond painting today and not a lot else. Hope that you're all okay. Um, if you're here for the first time, welcome to my channel. If you are coming back, welcome back. Um, so first of all, um, I had a lovely visit from Penny at Calb Sparkles um, in the week and um, she brought me some new release papers. So if you haven't seen these already, check her out. Now I keep mine in one of my release paper books. I've actually got two if you haven't seen these already these are a fabulous idea um, these are made to hold pennies um, cover papers as you know her cover papers um, are laminated in a certain way and she has these little inserts and they're so good because they just hold all of those cover papers without dropping them so if you drop it they're not going to go anywhere um i absolutely love mine it's one of my favorite products from her shop her shop link is in the description box below um but these are the latest ones that um she has brought over for me she is doing galaxy papers how beautiful are these so i think you get 10 2 3 4 5 six seven eight nine ten yeah ten so ten cover papers super strong very flexible i absolutely adore these have made me use cover papers again um i do like sectioning with washi tape but these have given me my joy back because who doesn't like to try and match their wash their um cover papers to their to the canvas um she also has the galaxy in the blue which again super galaxy is one of my favorite things to have so i'm looking forward to using those and then of course she has them in my favorite color the purple how beautiful are these so they are on her etsy shop right now um, but we also have these beauties oh my word all designed by Anna Lee um, for Penny at Cowb Sparkles I do love foxes I don't know anyone who doesn't love foxes aren't they beautiful um, I plan on using these ones when I do um, Rock of Souls because I think they'll go really really nicely um, and that's those also available on her shop and then we have these ones i think she calls these fairy dining how beautiful absolutely i i would diamond paint that <laughs> i would literally diamond paint that image so they're the dining and then the last of her new releases it's like a little mushroom house <laughs> <laughs> absolutely adore these um i'm gonna use these ones when i do midsummer's night i think um so that is the cover papers as i said cover papers and the spare um spare drill booklets what am i talking about the release paper booklets are available on pennies shop it is in the description box below um so that's those but also she came over to pick up her diamond painting drill tray towers that's a hard thing to say when you're quick um and um we did a little bit of a switch because i had in my wish list on diamond art club i had a specific painting and penny literally had it and said that we would do a trade <laughs> so i am pleased to announce that i now have spellbound now this has been opened before it's been unboxed by penny as well it's been opened by me the other day because i couldn't wait so it is missing the little sticker it is also missing the big sticker because that's gone into my into my logbook into my my tracker um 
but I do have the stickers for it so um let's get this out now this was in my wish list because it's one of those that I really really like but every time I considered getting it there was something I liked more so I'd left it in there because I had the intention of giving my details to my husband so he can buy me stuff for Christmas and um yeah just never got around to getting it so beautiful beautiful canvas like I said this is a little bit different to normal because um, it has been unboxed before it is as they always are from penny stupidly big um so this is a 70 by 105 centimeters so a nice big canvas we have 62 colors we have one um fairy dust drill and we have four ab's which is phenomenal so let's just have a look so we'll have to scroll this one so this is called spellbound it is from miles pinkney and i think what i loved about this are all the candles that's what i love the most it's all the candles um beautiful beautiful colors you've got a lot of color block in there um i had tinkered with the idea of putting some glow in the dark drills into the candles but Talking it through with Penny, she makes a very good point, actually, that it would probably be better. I do apologise for my arms in the way I'm moving stuff. Um, it would probably be better. Let's zoom out a little bit to um, to just put ABs in there if there aren't any already. Um, but it is absolutely stunning. So we have Do What Makes You Sparkle at the top, Diamond Art Club. We have the legend on the top left and bottom right, as always. And we have this beautiful... Number one, it has a dragon in it, which is always a thing for me, because I do love dragons. Um, but you have this beautiful image of this magician just spell casting and he's got i particularly love the little bookmark that's in the spell book i love that and he's just surrounded by these beautiful candles they're just everywhere i think it's just such an evocative image um lots and lots of little details in there but i can tell just by looking at it that it is going to be it is going to be one of those what I call confetti blocking, which is my favourite. Um, if you don't know what confetti blocking is, so confetti is where you have got a lot of different colour changes in a small section. So you may be placing one, two, three, four drills of each colour, but you might have 30 colours in that one little section. Colour blocking is where you have large sections where you don't change the colour at all or that you may have one colour so all of this here is colour blocking so confetti blocking <laughs> is where you have areas where you've got more than one colour but you can still use a multiplacer I am quite adept with the multiplacer now I can use I can multiplace anything from two up to about 12 drills um, most of the time colour confetti blocking is three or four drills of the same color in in patches i am much more i i'm not a big fan of confetti um i get it, it takes me too long i'm too impatient for that but this in particular has got lots of areas where you're going to be able to use a multiplacer still even though you've got some color changes going on and i love that um, haven't got any artwork by Miles Pinkney either. Um, from what I have seen, he has done a lot of the wizards, etc. You all know, fantasy is my is my thing. So um, I was super super pleased when Penny said, "Here we go. You can have that. I can take the stuff that you've made for me. Jobs are good." And I was not going to say sorry. Not going to say no. So I've just turned it over so I can use the backing as a backdrop. Just so we can take a look at these colours. Look how earthy they are. They're beautiful. Now I will say there is a bag of drills missing from this because when I am when I took a look at it, I actually split one of the bags. 
completely my fault <laughs> but there you go it happens I have got it safe and sound to one side here so I'm just going to go you can see look where I, where I split it um, so it was the th 3834 so I think there's at least I think three bags of this but let's have a look at these 310 so we've got one two three four five six seven bags of 310 um, which doesn't surprise me so we've got those the canvas is slipping because I've got it plastic side down so here is Yeah, here's the other end, I think. So one or two bags of that other colour that I split. We've got one, two, three, four bags of 3371. I did explain this is a square draw painting, didn't I? If I didn't, I apologise. We have got three bags of 3858. We have two bags of 3857. But all very earthy tones now we get into a few of the colors let's start from the other end because um it's the wrong way around for me so yeah all very earthy neutral tones but you've got that little bit of color two bags of 3830 two bags of 939 two bags of 3776 got two bags of 840 two of 3777 550 is my favorite and there is that fairy dust drill so fairy dust drills are encapsulated glitter inside the resin drill which is super beautiful and is exactly the same technique as what i do on my nails <laughs> it's literally capping that glitter inside the resin so um makes for a beautiful beautiful drawer i haven't worked with them yet i am looking forward to it straight away from doing this this is an ideal kit to kit up in elizabeth ward i think um, or one of the bigger bottle storages so yeah 742 so lots of little bits of color there so you've got those those vivid pops of, of yellow and red and orange which is going to give it that little bit of beauty uh, two bags of 154 which is nice beautiful colors Oh, we've got three bags of 221. We have two bags of 3772. Two of 3064. Two of 355. Two of 3721. So yeah, Elizabeth Ward would probably be the better option or my own storage if I can make up enough to put it in you want something with different size pots in it i think or maybe you know if you've got like a 84 or that's going to slip off 84 or uh, 120 bottle storage would work 817 we've got 129 which is the first of those ab drills if you are unsure what an ab drill is ab stands for aurora borealis or the northern lights and it's an iridescent coating that's put on top of the drills and it pretty much just gives it that extra sparkle and it kind of reflects back the light from other drills next to it as well which is absolutely beautiful it just highlights anything that you put there which is beautiful and then we have our next ab which is 135 let's see if i can get can you see that extra glitter love it and then we've got the obligatory 141 because Diamond Art Club do like their white 8B. And why not? Beautiful. So, yeah, just small amounts of these little colours. So, Elizabeth Ward storage. Oh, we've got the 114 there. Little bits of red. Can you see? How sparkly is that? Um, so, that is all the drills for this kit. So, I'm going to stop filming for a second. I'm going to put all these back and I'll come back okay they're back in <laughs> they're not neat but they're back in i will say for anyone if you are one of those people that you keep your drills separate 
you do have a little sticker on the drill bag to tell you what kit they've come out of. Um, I keep all mine together until I kit it up um, because I do very often kit up quite a bit, you know, before. So let's just have a look and see if we can see where some of these ABs would go. I haven't got my glasses on, but I can readily see that number one, which is the red AB, you've got all the way through this beautiful sleeve. We have some up here as well, more in this sleeve, all in here. So they're just highlighting, just highlights a little bit down here. Um, what's number two? Number two is that palest of pale yellows, which is the 129. And you have got some of that. Let's have a look. Now I've seen threes, but not twos. Right, so the three, which is the yellow, um, you've got all in this dragon, all in here. Um, and in here, if I see the twos as well, there's some twos here. So it is a very, very pale lemon colour. Oh, that's interesting. Like the two almost looks like white. It is that, it is that pale. So twos and threes in the, in the top of his hat here surprisingly not as many in the candles as you would think although there is some down here in this one there's some twos in there so just dotted around generally and where are those whites the white ab's are here so in some of these candlesticks now it looks like they've actually placed them where the light would hit um so you haven't got as many up here but you've got more down towards the bottom. If you look down here at these candles here, they are ones, the twos, and the threes. So it looks like all the light, which kind of makes sense, is coming up from the bottom here, which is beautiful. Which then means you get all the highlights in his beautifully big bushy moustache and um, beard does kind of remind me of my dad a little bit my dad used to grow a beard in the summer in the um, winter because he used to play santa um and let's just see if i can find that fairy dust drill which is a no entry sign so you've got the fairy dust in the top here and in here and in here so you've got quite a few of those fairy dust drills in the candles which is where you'll get some of that reflection from i think it's going to be such a pretty a pretty addition just coming down yeah you've got them all in the candles down here all down here so it's a generous smattering of those ab's and fairy dust diamonds I think you will agree it's a beautiful canvas. I have to say, the reason I love Diamond Art Club so much is just because I always know what I'm going to get. I always know I'm going to get a good quality canvas. I'm going to get good quality drills. I know that if I haven't got enough drills, they're going to replace those for me. And I know that they're 99% of the time, their rendering is, is spot on. Um, there will always be images or pictures that don't appeal to you which is why they have so many but this is absolutely beautiful so thank you to penny for bringing this over and letting me add this into my stash i'm super excited um i'm gonna put this away i will be back with another video very very soon but thank you for joining me today please don't forget to like to subscribe and to hit that notification bell just so you're notified whenever I post up a new video. I will be back very soon. There is a link in my description box for Diamond Art Club because I am an affiliate. If it is your first time purchasing from them, if you use that link, you'll get a lovely bonus. You'll get a lovely money off percentage. And I will also generate a little bit of a of money from it that I can then use to purchase Diamond Art Club as well. Um, other than that, it is, as always, over and out from this Kitten Up Kitten. Bye-bye.